Visiting uh, Ericsson uh, headquarters here today, we had a lot of discussions. I mean, the highlight was the discussions we had with the senior management on the future of the industry, but also seeing some demos on things like augmented reality, also discussing a lot about ESG, reducing the power consumption of the network and how that will help reduce our carbon footprint as an operator, and also in providing much more sophisticated solutions to the industry, uh, capitalizing now on the investments we've done on 5G. It was an amazing two days journey. We've seen a lot of new technologies, futuristic technologies, and a lot of R&D work being done here in, in, in Sweden. And we are, it makes us more confident that Ericsson is the right partner to take us uh, forward in the journey of EM. We extremely value our relationship with uh, Ericsson uh, over the years. Uh, I personally started working with Ericsson from the 90s, starting from the role of the building the network and bringing the mobile network innovation. It evolved the relationship over the years from all part of the network component, from the access to the core to the application layer. And now we're working more and more with Ericsson and innovating in the industry and bringing value to our customers. So it's a relationship of extreme collaboration, value creation and extreme trust. I think our partnership in the future will depend on really going beyond just telecom and providing real world solutions that uh, help the customers also succeed and have better business or helping consumers have a more fulfilled life. So. Uh, we, we have to work together to develop these solutions. Some of it is based on what we know customers need, but we need also to anticipate what are going to be the demands of the future and work on them now so that we can have them uh, ahead of everyone else. And that's when we really win by creating that innovation in the market.